robotics no, to see um, actually robots um, made out of uh, hard materials like steel or aluminum with rigid links uh, that are able to do very, uh, in a very good way, very precise and highly efficient tasks. But if we take these robots out of the factories, out of a, of a known environment, you know, and we make them uh, interact with the natural environment in unpredictable situations, hmm, uh, we know that robots are not so versatile. So what the robotics community is discussing today is how to uh, achieve more natural-like robots by using materials that are um, more like living beings. Because if we, for example, if we think like humans or also animals or other living beings, we have um, a skeleton structure, but most of our uh, uh, structure is made of soft tissues and water. We are talking about materials that actually can achieve um, high deformation and adaptation. For example, uh, elastomers, uh, materials that are not linear in the sense that they are not elastic, but they uh, have a certain degree of uh, um, viscous elasticity and non-linearity in their mechanical response. So this is very uh, challenging. Mm -hmm. 